back from the break and we're talking about the length of your life and of course it has a lot to do with your mom and dad it has a lot to do with what you're eating and what you're doing Tom but we're talking now about the scientific we know scientifically and for sure the one sound piece of evidence that we know as far as longevity and, and increasing the length of life is calorie restriction let's talk about that a little bit because when you look at calorie restriction why would that be i mean why would reducing our calories cause us to live longer it seems like you know the more you eat the more nourished you're going to be the less you eat, the less nourished you're going to be. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it comes down to that chemical response in the body, correct? And well, think of, think of uh, you know, your car. That's what I tell my patients who are on diet. If you're going to drive it a lot, put a lot of gas in there. If you're going to leave it in the garage, don't keep putting gas in there. <laughs> so, I mean, just think of that. But, but the other thing, and, and you know this, you're the, you're the expert, but anyway, you don't want any belly fat. No. So if, if you're taking in too much and... Boy, I'm a typical male. We all store everything right there on the belly. Yes. And you can literally relate the girth of your waist to how much risk you have of diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, heart disease, and death from any reason. So uh, just think about that. Just keep it simple. Remember, Todd, I yes. love that. Yes. So, yes, keep it simple. So, exactly. you know, if you guys go to the buffet, just have one plate full, okay? <laughs> so it's not all you can eat. It's what, what you need to eat. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, the, in fact, a lot of people <laughs> see, see that as almost like a circus sideshow. How much can I eat? You know, and, 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 and really what happens, and you see some of the fattest people at buffets. And, and why? Because you're eating too much at a shot there. You're tempted to eat too much. And generally, these people come and hungry so they're going to eat a lot and pack it in and then ride that for an extended period of time so look at what that's doing as far as the chemical response spiking the insulin levels dramatically we know how caustic insulin is to some degree especially when it's rampant in the body these people who have diabetes today they're not it's not that they're not producing enough insulin they're producing too much it's just the cells themselves are not sensitive. sensitive exactly right. so what what happens is when we're eating too much and especially too much at a shot, we're causing so many chemical reactions in the bodies to happen as far as the insulin response, uh, all of the things that happen as far as fat storage. You're wanting to put the bulk of that into the fat cells, and then in turn, everything drops off the table once that happens, and then it's let, you're left with low hormone levels and low insulin levels. So it really is like a roller coaster ride. It's a vicious ride for the body as opposed to small meals we'll, and regulating we'll, it. We'll think of obese people they don't move very much so and then think of these islanders they don't eat as much but they have to walk to get where they need to go yeah. so it's kind of like get up and walk people get up and move so the i mean any of us can walk i mean you don't have to go to some specialty store and buy something special you could just get a fairly decent walking shoe and you ladies take those high heels off and just get you you know, a simple tennis shoe or a flat, and yes. uh, just just go easy, and it do, it doesn't take that many minutes a day. And I'd I'd like to caution people about smoking. Everybody knows about smoking, but if you smoke, quit. If you're 30 <laughs> years old and you quit today, you will live 10 years longer. So if nobody's ever put that to you, you have got it now. And and remember, the people you hang around with are the people that you'll tend to. Emulate. To yes. Some, yes, yes. So try to, I mean, you can't change the world, but you can certainly change yourself. And once you start changing, don't be afraid to, you know, uh, intimidate your friends into, <laughs> into behaving. To browbeat your friends into <laughs> yeah. stop it. Well, but what happens, it, ins good. it inspires them as well. And that's right. how, you know, you talk about changing the world. You can't do it from the top down. you got to do it from the bottom up. And the way you do that is changing yourself, first of all, and your own thoughts. And, and it's taking care of yourself. It's, and, and you're right about the smoking thing. We, we have no, there's no question what that does and the harm that it does to the body. But what most people don't understand as well is that fat, that, that bad fats that they're taking in, the sugars they're taking in. In, the the amount of food that they're taking in, the inactivity is almost just as bad, if not worse, than smoking cigarettes. Get you a plan. Get you a plan because the the fact that you have a plan for your health is more important than the plan. So <laughs> that's, you know that as well. That's a very good point. Because it, it, the people that are on a diet, you, you've heard them. There's like 800 different ones, but they've got a plan, a plan. and it starts helping. 
Doesn't it? Yes, Almost, it does. Eat 20 weenies. I've heard some weird well, Because things. it's a mission. It's a, it's, it's absolutely, yeah. you, you're on a mission at that point. You say, I have a plan, and at least you're starting that. So, so it, let's challenge everybody. Let's get a plan. Uh, you can you can spend a lot of money to get a plan, or you can sit at home and think about it, or research like uh, Todd. And well, I, and, well and, and, and the thing about too, and, and I, I listened to De- Deepak Chopra, and, and like the point he made, every 90 days, your cells are brand new. You're, you're basically Another a brand new, new critter. New game. It, and so, it, and and all of those cells are made from what you've been eating over the last 90 days. So you literally can change your health for the good or bad, as we've seen with these documentaries like Super Size Me, guy very healthy in 30 days, turns his health radically the wrong way. Uh, The same thing can happen on the good side as well. If you're eating bad food, changing what you eat, changing uh, your thoughts, uh, there's so many things that you can do to improve your health, folks. And that's why we're here on Understanding Your Health, just breaking it down for you, giving you usable information, simple stuff that you can apply to your life. So appreciate you joining here, folks. We're going to continue the subject on the next episode of Understanding Your Health. Longevity, everybody wants to know simple stuff that you can do to increase the length of your life. Of course, if you're not happy, you don't want to live to your 90. So we'll discuss that as well. So thanks for joining us, Tom. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next episode, folks. Thanks a lot.